Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Docker container versus virtual machine. Today I'll talk about what is Docker container and how is it different from virtual machine. So let's start. So here in this diagram, you can see on the left hand side, we have an image of a Docker container and on the right hand side, we have an image of a virtual machine. So first I'll be talking about virtualization and its advantages and we will also see its disadvantages and how docker container overcome these disadvantages. So what is virtualization? Virtualization is a technique of importing a guest operating system on the top of host operating system. Hence it allows us to run multiple operating system in different virtual machines all running on the same host. This eliminates the need of extra hardware resources like hard disk processor and RAM. So what are the advantages of virtualization? In case of virtualization, we can have multiple OS on the same host machine. We don't need to have different system to use different operating system. Using virtualization, we can achieve this. It also reduces the cost due to less infrastructure. So in the diagram on the right hand side, you can see that at the bottom layer, we have an infrastructure like hard disk processor, RAMs and others on which our host operating system runs and then we have hypervisor. So hypervisor can be think of a software or hardware on which we can run our virtual machines. So for example, hypervisor can be a VMbox or a VMware. So on hypervisor, we run different virtual machines with their guest OS and then the application running on that virtual machine. So in this way we can have multiple virtual machine on the same host machine. So having multiple virtual machine on the same host machine leads to some problem. So those problems are boot up process will become slow. Every time you will start a virtual machine, it will take a significant amount of time. Then running multiple virtual machines leads to unstable performance. It requires a large amount of resources like hard disk processor and especially RAM. So now we will see how these problems can be overcome using the docker containers. So for docker containers, when we talk about docker containers, docker is a containerization platform that packages your application and all its dependencies together in the form of containers to ensure that your application works seamlessly in any environment. So as we know that docker is a containerization platform, we will try to understand what is containerization. So containerization is a technique of bringing virtualization to the operating system level. So in case of virtual machines, we are installing different virtual machine to run different operating system but in case of containerization we are doing virtualization at the operating system level so in case of containerization we are bringing virtualization to the os level it is efficient as there is no os here and utilizes the host operating system and also share the relevant libraries and resources when needed unlike virtual machines and also the application specific dependencies like binaries and libraries of containers run on the host kernel which makes the process and execution fast. So we can say that it is a lightweight and faster than virtual machines. So on the left hand side, you can see on the diagram that we have the infrastructure and then we above which we have operating system and on which we have a Docker installed here and using Docker, we can run multiple applications. Docker also ensure that one application will not interfere any other application. So these are few basic difference between a Docker container and a virtual machine. So I hope you now know the basic difference between Docker container and virtual machine. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you learn something from this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel.